Sun Moon Rising Venus North Node and Mercury. Welcome to your money, career, and wealth reading. If you are a returning OG subscriber, a special welcome back to you. And if you are new, welcome. All the information that you need is in the description box below. Other than that, let's get right into your messages, shall we? Because I'm picking up this energy of uh, intense, lucid dreaming, okay? You're being shown signs and synchronicities in your dream state. I'm getting a reoccurring place and time here. Your angels keep taking you back to a certain space, okay? But something has to be healed. Something has to be addressed or confronted here, Scorpio. So I feel like you're visiting your shadow side in a past life. And look, we got vision at the bottom of the deck. So that's confirmation here. That's something about your third eye, your dreams. I'm getting Akashic Records here. Information is coming to you extremely fast. So maybe you're being drawn to get along because we have sanctuary. Maybe go near your altar, okay? Refresh something. But I feel like something about your spirituality, something's expanding, increasing, okay? Especially your awareness. Yeah, we have healing coming out here. So there's something about a past life that you're healing you're leaving this energy behind this doesn't even have to be like far far in the past this could be a couple decades ago a past life something that you are no longer in okay you're entering a new state of awareness or consciousness so i'm definitely picking up a lot of 5d energy you're vibrating or you're transforming at a very rapid pace and we have family so maybe you are visiting your ancestors in your dream state but there's something about healing a family bloodline okay some type of soul tie or something very karmic with this family card because i feel like you're going to be the one to heal something okay for sure here scorpio so it's important that you stay focused and you understand what's happening okay you can feel something shifting or changing okay you can even see it here but something maybe has not materialized fully and then we have the four of wands so i'm seeing you rekindle or reconnect here with a loved one i'm getting a sibling okay so something about a relationship is being healed so this is how you're going to know that something's changing that god is working in your life and in your family's life because they're going to come to you someone's going to come to you for guidance here okay but you're going to be able to see that they need healing here scorpio all right, but whatever this lucid dreaming is, it's helping you to heal yourself as well as others. And then we have the five of cups coming out here. So maybe you were disappointed with how the conversation went here, Scorpio. Okay, with this four of wands, I feel like something was supposed to be good news, okay, celebration. But I feel like it turned out different or the opposite. Yeah, ten of wands. So a lot of you are separating yourself from someone. And I feel like you're worried that you are going to be estranged from this person for a very long time but i'm picking up that this is a part of the process so you could be going into separation with a sibling or this could be a significant other yeah we have the seven of wands showing up so there's something happening in defense of you you're being protected from something god is really shielding you i'm hearing protect your peace here scorpio because whatever this is you can feel something taking place intuitively okay but i feel like something's going to be leading you to to travel abroad or really expand your horizons so you could be getting evicted you're, you're being called to move or something and i feel like this is your chance i'm hearing and then we have the emperor coming out here so this is confirmation for me that there's something you're taking control over you could be seeing angel number 404 444 a lot i'm getting 414 repeatedly but something is definitely um, a synchronicity to let you know you're protected and whatever changes are taking place because something has a lot of uncertainty surrounding it. I'm also getting heavy rain with this 10 of wands here, but I feel like you're not letting something stop you here. Yeah, we have the sun card and the five of cups. So you are going to be successful. I feel like this energy, this five of cups, this is a temporary emotion here, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like maybe you were getting rejected, but there's going to be something about an approved application, something that's going to be leading you into the next part of your path. And then we have the Six of Swords. So you could be seeing angel number 619, 196 here. So I'm getting this energy of unconventional angel numbers. But with this Six of Swords and this Ten of Wands, yeah, I'm hearing not easily broken here, Scorpio. I feel like you experienced some type of tower 
Okay, I feel like something was meant to throw you off, discourage you here, to make you feel like there's another blockage and you can't move forward. But no, I'm getting you're sending someone packing here, okay? I feel like you're no longer going to let someone hold you back. Yeah, look, and we have the Four of Pentacles. For some reason, these are the same women. So there's something about where you currently are. I'm getting you're protected. Maybe you've relocated or you're going to get ready to relocate. And I feel like this is going to be the protection you've needed from this space. I'm getting this crab in a bucket mentality. Okay, this could have been a group of people. The family card is out here. So you're healing something regarding that. Yeah, we have the 701. Look at that. These are feels like the same women, but her hair is just in, isn't covered up. So I feel like there's this energy of your going to be able to have more freedom. I'm hearing let your hair down in the situation, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're moving on. You're setting yourself free. You're on a new path here. And then we have offering. So you're going to be receiving an overwhelming response from the divine here regarding something, okay? This could be through an approved application, a process here, something going in your favor. Then we have animals. So I don't know why I'm getting something. I don't like this energy. I'm hearing sacrifices. So beware of what rituals you're doing or who you're having do rituals for you. Because someone could say they're very powerful here, but I feel like behind the scenes, they could be sacrificing some type of animals. Yeah, something about animals are significant because this pig and then this buffalo is really standing out to me. And then these birds are pulling it, pulling this boat. So I don't know. So be... Mm. So beware of someone, okay, maybe doing a ritual on your behalf here. Yeah, I'm getting you need to cut out some type of third-party energy. This could be a psychic you're using. I feel like this person is heavily into rituals, okay? I feel like they wear their hair tied up often, okay? But I feel like you're going to be able to notice the difference in your energy once you cut this tie. And then we have money manager. Yes, yeah, so I feel like... There was someone you were allowing to help you with money rituals. Oh, Scorpio. Ooh. Manifesting. Okay. I'm telling you truth with this manifesting. Someone here was helping you or assisting you into bringing something into fruition. I feel like your angels are wanting you to know that you are going to receive this recognition regardless. You don't need any extra rituals here in order to bring something in. Okay, not knocking people who do ritualistic work, but I feel like for you, it doesn't go with your bloodline. Okay, it might work for other people, but this is not the route you need to go here. Scorpio, I don't know who this is for. Maybe you were thinking about getting some work done or giving somebody your money. Yeah, I don't feel like this is the path for you. Yeah, we have say yes to the things you think you can't do. So I feel like there's this energy of you need to believe in yourself, cut out the middleman, okay? But I feel like there's this energy of you're taking things a step further. For some of you, it's in the right direction. And for some of you, if you don't nip this in the bud now, it's going to be in the wrong direction. So I hope this message gets to someone in time, okay? Because, yeah, we got the caution card. Okay, use caution when making financial decisions. So be careful where you invest your money. I know people like to invest their money in ritual work, and it, like I said, it works for some people. But I'm telling you, something does not mix with your bloodline here, okay? I'm telling you, Scorpio. So, I mean, I have free will, but I feel like you just need to tread carefully if you're going to do this. That's all. Everything has consequences here. Especially if it's something that's not a part of your spiritual anatomy, I'm hearing. And then we have forgiveness coming out here. So it says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So maybe you experienced a lot of, what is it? Um, you experienced a lot of verbal, maybe mental or emotional abuse when it came to a family dynamic. And I feel like you're in the process of building your own family. Yeah, we have loneliness. So I'm hearing season a season of loneliness. So you're, something's temporary. There's something you're needing to learn. It says, I know that I'm never alone. So I feel like you're learning how to tap into you, to your guides more. Okay, there's there's this energy of something's infinite. The energy around you, it goes on and on. So never feel like you're alone, okay? Something or someone's always watching spiritually. Not not to make y'all paranoid, Scorpio, but that in that sense. Yeah, we have peace coming out here. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. 
So there's something you need to let go of in order to bring this in. So maybe you guys wanted to do something ritualistic to bring something in, but I feel like your angels are letting you know you have the tools, okay? You have what it is that you need here to bring something forth. Yeah, magician energy. So let's see. And then we have the courage card coming out here. So this lets me know that there's something that you are successfully taking advantage of, okay? With this courage card, you're going to put your energy out there in some type of way. I feel like you're going to be experiencing a lot of positive changes in your life here, Scorpio, due to the fact that you are no longer allowing your fear to override your faith here. And look, we have indigo and crystal children. So there's something significant, something about your gifts. I feel like you're being redirected to like a childhood. I'm getting something about your childhood is a very reoccurring theme here, okay? Your angels are trying to get you to take notice of something. And we have chakra clearing. So this lucid dreaming, these dreams that you're having, they're significant, okay? I feel like there's something that you're going to be successfully translating okay so i feel like a lot of you could be trying to learn tarot here scorpio or there's something about you getting deeper into your cards or your cards are going to start speaking to you as you do chakra clearing so your messages are going to start to flow mm. so yeah your messages are going to start to flow during this time because of this chakra clearing because of this transformation you're having or undergoing yeah you're really waking up to your gifts like i said awareness is significant here so pay attention i feel like your angels are trying to remind you of your power you don't need anyone outside of yourself god and your angels to help you manifest so beware of this third party okay but that is the message that i have for you i hope you enjoyed this spread as much as i enjoy reading for you here, Scorpio, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.